During the late 1970s, an assortment of acts hailing from the Francosphere were purveying a mixture of folk and classical in a style that could best be described as chamber folk. You had the Belgian act Hulvern and uh, bands from Quebec like Menige, Conovance, and this next band, Aquaro. And from their 1978 release, Sue on Arbre, the track Francois. Beautiful major seventh passage, very simple um, C major seventh to, to F major seventh with that flute melody. So far sounding like, like something you could hear on, on like a stateside jazz funk record. To some extent, of course, I mean, you're also hearing acoustic guitar, some things you wouldn't necessarily, which you wouldn't necessarily hear on a jazz funk record. I just had to say, I just had to throw in that reference because um, I, I was suddenly getting a vibe similar to um, that Null Pointer track I did a while back, uh, just because of the, the 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 chords that were in that. we've transferred from flute to um, synthesizer to like a flute saying on a synthesizer just they did kind of a switch on us it very sly the way they transitioned it like that to <laughs> yeah um, on this album Jean Philip uh, Jelena's fellow plays flute as well as uh, soprano and alto saxophone some other tracks. Um, and Pierre Lescout plays piano, electric piano, clavinet synthesizer. Yeah, that's that's really funny the way that they went from like an organic flute to a flute setting on a on a synthesizer that that was purpose purposely uh, made to mimic the sound of that actual flute to a T and make the trade-off almost hard to detect. And, and still, I'm almost kind of fooled. I'm thinking, is it or is it not? No. And, and it, 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 there are some notes where, where it sounds like a flute. Then there are other notes I'm thinking, nah, that's not a real flute. There, there, there are like a few um, notes it hits where it has more of a wheezy sound that a flute just doesn't. And now I think that's the real thing. I 
I love how the the piano it's so soft it, and it's just it, it it's it's hewing to the to the rhythmic figure, but the what it adds to the harmonic framework. That this was going to have to break apart at some point and, and, and get into something a bit edgier. Fiber slaps and flexitons. And I think cans. festive we've gone from kind of like a bossa nova jazz funk relatively straightforward melodic piece and now we've gone to this more jubilant like percussive laden latin kind of jam <laughs> Francois by um, Aqu Aquaro off their 1978 album Sue on Arbre and um, yeah I, kind of an outer layer track off the album actually um, considering that they were dipping their toes like into Latin American influences here like some Brazilian and I guess also a bit of like Mexican influence um but uh played with a bit more classical control and polish than you you often hear um on on music of that in, in those idioms um which basically betrays that that this is a a band of that these are musicians of of french origin um, let's hear another track from the album, Esperanto. Okay, already I like where this is going. We've got a really crafty melodic bass line and that piano just taking front and center um, with some crisp notes and that uh that symbol that's just kind of spraying mist over everything and they're a real crisp guitar figure They're all just coming on. Now we got saxophone. There, each of them playing like a like a figure and just kind of building and layering up 
I'll put them on another. <laughs> Now we've got an unusual combination of instruments, even, even for this time. I mean, we've got the violin and the saxophone playing a, a real prominent role in this otherwise uh, rock type arrangement. of camel just slightly in that um, synthesizer tone that we're hearing now. Um, so, in fact, I'm reminded of some of the soloing on the um, like quieter passages of, of Lunar Sea, where it goes, where, where that bass figure takes hold and, and some, of, some of the intensity subsides and it just kind of glides along and, and that... <laughs> treated to um, a violin solo by Pierre Bornacki. <laughs> Thank you. 
like the, I liked it when it hit some of those like darker notes right there. Those, those more discordant, like fractious elements it was throwing in. Esperanto from their 1978 album Sue on Arbre, and before that, um, Francois. Um, the chorus that you were hearing, the female vocals that you were hearing toward the end of this that last number, uh, were courtesy of one Helene Martin, who appears to have had a career in Chanson going back to. 1962, yeah, prolific recording artist, artist during the 1960s, and uh, vocals by, I guess, the, the main vocalist in the band, Anne-Marie Coudemanche, this, is, this album is her only credit, according to Discogs. Um, a few of these people played on other things, mostly kind of related to the band, though. Um, the violinist uh, doesn't seem to have been on anything else. Um, the saxist and keyboardist uh, were on a few solo releases related to the band, and uh, I guess it's most of them pretty much remained um, local to the uh, scene in Montreal, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. And uh, Aquero uh, would do one other album, a live album recorded in Montrex. Yeah. Very talented group of people. Um, Technically a one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, technically a seven piece at the time of, I guess, the official members, although there, there are a lot of other people in the credits. Um, yeah, too bad uh, these musicians didn't, didn't get out there and record more. I mean, uh, a lot of uh, talented mu musicianship on the, rec on the tracks that we just heard. Anyway... Yeah, co covering um, a lot of, it, it seems like uh, what sets them apart is that for a band that was primarily working the jazz, rock, jazz, funk, and Latin jazz areas on, on these two tracks, they used a bit more acoustic and kind of chamber instrumentation than is, is often heard in those idioms. And... Um, you in in like the band the musicians that straddle the nexus between jazz and rock. Some of them would use a lot of them would use saxophone. Some of them would use violin, but it wasn't uh, common that you would hear both those instruments collide on the same piece, let alone with piano and such. And then and then the trade off between those with um, synthesizer and then flute at times, um, which it was like a confluence of influences that I think were unique, particularly to the scene up in Quebec. Yeah. Anyway, for more rubies and sapphires from the Aquero album, see the directory of albums um, by, 
artists from Quebec, linked in the description below, for Red Hot Tracks and Tasty Purples from this band, as well as Manige, um, Conovance, Conventum, uh, Contraction, uh, Slotch, Morse Code, um, Harmonium, and uh, for and not to mention uh, Mahogany Rush, Offenbach, the whole scene in French Canada. And uh, like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about uh, the two tracks we heard, the layers, the instrumentation, the nuances, the harmonics, the interplay, um, identification of certain synth tones and whatnot. And until next time, this is Zaragon, the world's most air travel trimaximist, signing off. <laughs>